Hello and welcome to the English Year 6 online lesson. Today we will learn in Unit 11 grammar with the topic tailor made. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to write adjectives in the correct order. You will be successful if you are able to identify adjectives in sentences and fill in the sentences with adjectives in the correct order. Before we start, you can take out your textbook and open page 110. Are you ready? Here we go! So what is adjectives? Apakah itu adjektif? An adjective describes noun. Okay? Adjective menerangkan tentang kata nama. Okay? So we can describe a person, an animal, a place, a thing, or an opinion. A person means orang, animal, haiwan, place, tempat, thing, benda, and opinion means pendapat. Okay, example, a person. We want to describe a person. Kita nak menerangkan tentang seseorang. An old man. Seorang lelaki, tua. A big cat, seekor kucing yang besar. A dirty room, sebuah bilik yang kotor. A long ruler, sebatang pembaris yang panjang. An honest boy, seorang budak lelaki yang jujur. So the old, big, dirty, long and honest is the adjectives. Okay? So let's proceed. A noun can be described using one or more adjectives. Kata nama boleh diterangkan menggunakan satu atau lebih dari satu adjectives. Example, a long skirt. Only one adjective used here. Hanya satu adjective digunakan di sini, long. Okay. For the noun skirt. An ornately decorated shield. Okay. There is two adjectives here. For the noun shield. Okay. Shield means perisai. So the adjectives are ornately, berkerawang, decorated, dihiasi. Okay. Two adjectives here. An ornately decorated shield. There are there is a fixed order for adjectives. Okay, uh, terdapat turutan yang tetap pada adjektif. Okay, kita tak boleh suka suka nak letak adjektif tu suka hati suka hati kita. Dia ada turutan yang tetap. Okay, example, a brave old man. Okay, we cannot put a, an old brave man. Tak boleh terbalik. Tak boleh old dulu baru brave. Huge modern glass building. Okay. Uh, kita tak boleh letak glass modern huge building. Okay. Uh, adjectives ni dia ada turutan yang tertentu yang kita kena follow. Okay. What is that? It is the order of adjectives. Yang kita kena follow tu turutan adjectives ni. Ah, uh, yang ni, you need to memorize if you can. Kamu kena hafal sekiranya kamu mampu, okay? We have add order of adjectives. Kita ada lapan turutan adjectives before the noun. The first one is opinion, pendapat. The second one is size, size. Three, quality. Four, age. Five, shape. Six color, seven origin, eight material, and followed by the noun. Okay, so this is the order of adjectives. Inilah turutan adjectives yang kamu perlu follow, yang kamu perlu ikut turuti. Okay, before the noun, sebelum kata nama. 
Okay, start with opinion, pendapat, size, size, quality, quality, age, umur, shape, bentuk, color, warna, origin, asal, material, bahan. Okay. So, example for this sentence. Okay. Lovely, tall, beautiful, antique, antique, slim, red, Malaysian, paper, doll. All these words are to describe the doll. Semua perkataan di depan ni adalah untuk menerangkan doll tadi. Doll ni adalah anak patung. Paper doll maksudnya anak patung kertas. Okay. Lovely is the opinion. Size is the... Uh, tall is the size. Tinggi. Beautiful is the quality. Antique is the age. Slim is for shape. Red, color. Legion, origin, material, paper. Okay. Do you know what is slim? Uh, langsin. Antique, antique. Okay. Beautiful, cantik. Tall, tinggi, lovely pun cantik. Okay. So, I hope you can memorize this order of adjectives because we need to use this uh, after this. Okay. Adjectives pertaining to shape and age are interchangeable. Dia kata, adjectives yang merujuk kepada shape, bentuk ataupun age, umur, are interchangeable. Maksudnya, boleh diubah. Diubah kedudukannya. Example, it is an old small hut. Oh, you can write like this. It is a small old hut. Okay, old is for age. Small is for shape. Okay, according to the order of adjectives, you need to write the age first, then the shape. Uh, pada tulis dulu uh, shape, barulah age. But if you see these two types of adjectives, you can either use uh, shape first or age later. Boleh tukar-tukar uh, tempat. Ke depan, ke belakang, tak kisah. Oh, maksudnya tetap sama. Okay? I hope you understand this one. So, let's go to the next example. Let's use the adjectives in order. Jom kita gunakan adjectives ni dalam susunan yang betul. So, this is the order of adjectives just now. Eight adjectives before the now. Okay, the first one. The girl with a long beautiful yellow hair is Elsa. What is the noun? Yes, the hair. So, we want to describe the hair. We use long, beautiful, yellow. Long for size. Okay, beautiful, the quality, and yellow is the color. Follow the order of adjectives. The second sentence. Iron Man wears a shiny red metal suit. So, the noun is suit. Pakaian. So, the adjectives are shiny, quality, red is the color, and metal is the material. Okay? Every uh, adjective follow the order of adjectives to describe the noun. Semua adjective tadi perlu ikut susunan, turutan, Adjective tadi untuk menandangkan kata nama. Okay, I hope you understand. Just use this order of adjectives when you are doing your exercise later, okay? So, so this is your exercise that you need to do later. I will explain to you what you need to do. Ni latihan yang perlu kamu buat. Teacher akan terangkan apa perlu kamu buat kat sini. Identify the adjective in each sentence. Dia kata kenal pasti adjective dalam ayat di bawah ini. Okay, so I want you to read the sentence first and then write out the adjective that you can find. Number one, I like spicy food. Saya suka makanan yang pedas. It is a small area. Ia adalah kawasan yang kecil. I have a great idea. Saya ada idea yang hebat. The price is affordable. Harganya mampu mi lit. He is my new classmate. Dia adalah rakan sekelas saya yang baru. I want a different haircut. Saya nak potongan rambut yang berbeza. The dresses are colorful. Pakaian itu berwarna-warni. The thick old book is on the dusty shelf. Okay. Buku lama yang tebal itu berada di atas rak yang berdebu. So, if you find the adjectives in the sentence, you can write out 
in the box provided in the exercise letter. Okay? So, the next activity is this one. Okay? Fill in the blanks with adjectives in the correct order. So, uh, there are five sentences here. I will just want you to click the answer. Okay? Choose one answer from the uh, bracket. Okay? Each sentence got two brackets. So, choose only one. The one that uh, following the order of adjectives. Okay, I will explain. Number one, it is a building. It is a building. Ia adalah sebuah bangunan big round. Okay, besar bulat. He is an artist. Dia seorang artist ni bukan pelakon tau. Tapi pelukis. Okay, local famous. Tempatan famous terkenal. I bought a pair of shoes. Saya membeli sepasang kasut. Black leather. Black ni hitam, leather ni kulit. Okay. My mother bought a table. Mak saya membeli sebuah meja. Wooden, long, expensive. Okay. Wooden, kayu, long, panjang, expensive, mahal. And number five, we ordered two cakes for the class party. Kami menempah dua kek untuk majlis uh, di dalam kelas. Square, segi empat, chocolate, chocolate, tasty ni, sedap. So, I would I want you to choose which one should we use to describe the noun in the sentence, okay? Okay, that's all for today. I hope you understand how do you want to write the adjectives when describing a noun in a sentence. Tuju harap kamu faham lah macam mana nak tulis adjectives untuk menerangkan kata nama dalam ayat ya. Okay, you just follow the order of adjectives. Cuma ikut je. Uh, turutan dalam adjective study. Okay, so it is the time for you to complete the exercise in the link given. If you have any questions, you can ask me through WhatsApp. Alright. Thank you for joining the class. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, I will see you again. That's all. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.